Um, I think for me, the most difficult part will be grammar, because the grammar between Chinese and English is really difficult for me to understand most of the time. And plus, there are so many different grammars I need to memorize. So that's the biggest part for me. It must be grammar. Yeah, and I mean, I always confuse my mind what kind of reference that I should use MLA, ABA, or Chico. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's the most difficult thing I can think about. I think because in my language, I, I, I come from Thailand. In Thai, we don't have any tense. I know you, in English, you have. Present symbol, present continuous, past tense, future. Yeah, it makes me very, very, very confused. When I use present perfect, when I use uh, present perfect continuous, yeah, it's very confused to me. In my in my language, I don't have any tense. If you want to say, yeah, you say, yeah. I think it's speaking. Because for me, it's easier to uh, write it down my my thoughts than to 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 set to tell them. For me, speaking is the the hardest way to learn English. I think that mm -hmm. takes time. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, grammar because uh, well, when I use my own language to write something, I don't have to consider about grammar. The punctuation. Um, yeah. Is it like uh, how to use comma and um, semicolon is the most difficult? Uh, actually, uh, in my country, uh, I have uh, enough experience to write in English, so it's uh, hard to organize how to start uh, from introduction, uh, body, and conclusion, and also APA. So I never heard about it before, but I need to follow that. So I'm very a hard time uh, doing like that. So I need some help in here at Writing Center. It helped me a lot. <laughs>when, when we're writing, we don't have any comma, period, semicolon, or colon. For example, when, when in English, when you want to separate the sentence, you use a period, but no, not, not in my language. I only use a space, 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 yeah, space to separate the sentence. And comma, uh, when you use a, like a, Preposition in the writing, in the sentence, you use comma, but not in my language. We don't have comma, we don't have period, anything. Um, like I said earlier, grammar is the biggest part, and except for that, I think many, um, many new vocabulary is also a barrier for me as well. Especially when I write the academic paper, it's really difficult for me to, uh, to choose the right word to use. Um, I think it's a little bit easier if you compare my high school skills, uh, which mm -hmm. I learned my own language, it's mm -hmm. Russian, so um, English I think it's a little bit easier than, mm -hmm. than Russian, but still it's a lot of uh, grammar rules, it's a lot of uh, slangs which you need to know and you can, yeah, like you can learn them, it's, they come uh, from people, you need to listen to them. This is, I think, yeah, what makes different from my language. Um, in uh, French, so my native language, we don't need to um, write, like uh, the teacher doesn't care about the form, we don't have uh, any particular style, he just um, want to see what we write, so, um, um, and that's it, I think. Uh, like uh, writing in English, when you uh, want to write a sentence to ask a question, you have to use like do, will, these verbs, but in my own language, I don't have to use that. Um, it's one thing that you are really, I mean, serious about the source 
and also the reference. We don't. We can easily cite ourselves from anyone else. Um, I mean, without writing their name or mm, I mean, without reference, we can easily do that. It's kind of mm, different, right? Because you are really serious about the. Uh, how can I say about the. Uh, um, the ideas and about the, uh, um, it's kind of, um, patent, copyright, or anything else that we don't, yeah, we don't care about it. Actually, uh, writing is the most important, uh, from my insight, what I'm thinking, that's why it makes it clear, organizedly, and just to kind of really hard on more than speaking. Yeah, in my country we have a tutor, but they charge money, <laughs> so that's a problem. And and they they are not good in the specific way. Uh, and the big problem is because they charge the money, so not too much uh, student in the college want to talk with them or want to uh, to let them give some advice. Um, in my country, Korea, uh, it's quite different to approach writing between Korean and English. So uh, tutors should uh, uh, let students know what's the important to write in English. So we can follow and practice uh, writing and we can get to uh, writing skill easily. Uh, we don't really have a tutor. Uh, we only have uh, French classes in high school, and uh, we learn uh, of how to how to write, I guess. And uh, yeah, we don't really. We are not really teach it. It's like uh, we practice and practice, and then we just learn it like that. Uh, to be honest, in my country, we don't have peer tutor. We just ask uh, our teacher. Uh, when we have questions. Uh, okay. okay. Thank you.